Hello and welcome to another video by me, the Raspberry Pi Guy. The eager ones amongst you will be asking what type of video do I have in store exactly? Well today's video is an introductory one because over the next days, weeks and months I'm going to show you lovely people how to make your first ever Raspberry Pi robot. Yes, that is right. As so many of you have requested, I'll be doing an entire series dedicated to taking your first steps in the world of robotics. The robot that we'll be using throughout this series of tutorials is awesome and just so happens to be right in front of me. Let me introduce you to the pi to go Lite. This is your ticket to kickstarting your own journey in computing, electronics, robotics and Raspberry Pi. I'll come back to it in a second. As some of you may know, robotics is a topic that is close to my heart. I'm sure that maybe a few of you have seen my speech about robots in education that I gave at the Raspberry Jamboree of 2014. And if you've ever met me in person, I was probably blabbering about some sort of giant humanoid android that I plan to take over the world with. But why do I really love robots? I love robots because they teach computer science in an incredibly fun way, and I really hope that I can convey this through my upcoming videos. The series of tutorials will not only show you how to make a cool robot, but it also teach you about computing concepts. It is an aim of mine to cover as much of the GCSE curriculum as possible. Don't fear, however, as I'm going to make sure that this series will be enjoyable because, really, that's the spirit of robots. So without further ado, let's take a look at the robot that we will be using. So as I mentioned briefly before, the robot that we're going to be using throughout this series of tutorials is the pi to go Lite by Fortronics. There are a multitude of different chassis, motors and controller boards available, however I feel that the pi to go Lite brings us all into an incredibly good value piece of kit. It costs £30 and all you have to do is add a Raspberry Pi. I'm going to be using the B+, however it's compatible with every Pi available, and so that includes the Model A and also the older Model B. Links to where you can buy one are in the description below. One of the reasons I really like the pi to go Lite is the fact that it's all based on a PCB. Most robots are a plastic chassis with the electronics on top. The pi to go Lite, on the other hand, is just a PCB. Everything attaches to it, either through screws or solder. It's supplied in kit form, so that does mean you'll need to solder it up. Personally, I'm not the most skilled with a soldering iron, and I had no trouble putting it together, so don't let that put you off. Also, remember that soldering is an essential skill to improve on. I'll link to a how to solder guide in the description, so you can see just how easy it really is. If we take a quick look at the pi to go Lite, you'll see that it features a whole host of electronics goodies. We have some high torque geared motors, we also have space for six AA batteries that will power everything on the chassis, including the Pi. At the front, there are distance sensors, line followers, and LEDs. And they're just a few of the components available to use. As I just said, the Pi2Go Lite is a self-assembly kit. Fortronics already has a great write-up of how to build it, and I really couldn't improve on that, so I'm not going to show the actual construction in my videos. Instead, I'll be teaching you how to make your Pi2Go do things, and essentially get the most out of it. The upcoming episodes will teach you about motor control, distance sensing, and line following, with more to follow, including how to stream camera output. The possibilities are endless, and I hope that you'll join me on this journey. That's all for today's introductory video. Stay tuned for episode one of the series, where I'll be showing you how to do basic motor control with your pi to go robot. The best way to stay tuned is, of course, by subscribing, so make sure you do that. Links to where you can grab a pi to go Lite are in the description below, and so get ahead of the crowd and prepare for the series early. That's all for now, but don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Until next time, bye!